Warm greetings to do-it-yourselfer and downshifters. Summer is approaching and the air conditioners will have to be turned on at new electricity tariffs. Many years ago, to save energy, I already created mirror curtains for wooden window frames. But for plastic window frames, this solution could not be adapted. So, this time, I designed mirror roller blinds for modern plastic windows. Then I made accurate measurements to determine the amount of materials. I bought most of the source materials at a hardware store at ridiculous prices, so one square meter of these roller blinds cost me only $2 minus 3. As a reflective surface, I used a mirror insulation film to organize warm floors. Unreinforced mirror film is well wound even on the narrowest drum. A reinforced mirror film on a thin drum forms a roll that is too loose. But we will eliminate this problem as well. And to find out how to do this, let's move on to the details of this project. I cut the roller blind drums from a lightweight, thin walled plastic pipe designed to lay electrical wiring. To be able to fill the drums with ballast, I made end plugs out of cardboard, which I cut off from some kind of packing box. Ballast is required for tighter winding of the film on the drum. If the drum is too light, the loose roll can get stuck between the glass and the fixed cords. Sand can be used as ballast. The weight of the ballast is selected in accordance with the properties of the film. Hard film requires heavier ballast. I fixed the cardboard stoppers with a thick polymer glue, also bought from a hardware store. To reduce the weight of the ballast, newsprint can be pushed into the middle of the drum. To attach the mirror film to the top of the window frame, I used a cable channel with a cross section of 12 by 12 millimeters. And these holes in the cable channel are designed to attach the connecting strips. I made the strips for attaching the cable channel to the window frame from the F profile that remained from the window slopes. But you can use any plastic to match the color of your frame. I made all the fastenings with the help of screws for 2.5 millimeters. Do not forget to put washers to better distribute the load on the plastic parts. To determine the length of these strips, I scaled the frame profile drawing from the manufacturer's website and made the appropriate measurements. This also allowed me to determine the length of the screws that are attached to the inner steel reinforcement of the plastic window frame. I made earrings for fixing movable cords from copper wire and steel screws, which I soldered with tin. For soldering steel, you can use any active flux or make this flux yourself from zinc from salt batteries and hydrochloric acid. Of course, after an active flux, you need to thoroughly wash the soldering. For all their simplicity, these loops successfully replace pulleys. A counterweight is required to keep the curtain open. I used a medical syringe for this purpose, which can be filled with sand or scrap metal. The weight of the counterweight is selected experimentally. If the window is too high, then the counterweight will have to be modified so that you can open and close the curtain without standing on the chair. Before the final assembly of the roller blinds, I marked out the places to drill holes in the window frames with this assembly unit. And then I drilled holes and threaded. When threading, use a lubricant, such as soap, so as not to break the tap in the steel reinforcement of the window frame. If this still happens, then you can drill an additional hole next to the existing one. The method of fastening curtains with the help of plastic strips allows you to do this. When fixing the top edge of the film, a right angle should be provided between the side edge of the film and the cable channel. If something goes wrong, the strength of the film will allow you to repeat the procedure and correct the error. I used double-sided tape to fix the bottom edge of the curtain on the drum. 
You can use any improvised rigging to provide a right angle between the film and the drum. If you use reinforced mirror film, you can strengthen the connection by gluing it with painter's tape. The final assembly of the roller blind is best done on a large table. For reliable fixation of cords, loops should be tied at their ends. You can choose the length of the fixing and moving cords right during assembly. I used a twisted nylon cord that provides low friction with metal earrings. It would probably be better to use a braided cord, but it is an order of magnitude more expensive than a twisted cord. So I didn't experience a braided cord in that capacity. To install roller blinds on the window frame, you will need to screw in only four screws. Then you need to pull the restrictive cords that will press the drum against the glass. And at the very end, it is necessary to adjust the length of the movable cords so that the roll takes a strictly horizontal position. At the end, you should secure the ends of the movable cords with one of the mounting screws. If the curtain is very narrow, the movable cords can move to the side and disrupt the mechanism. Then you should thread both restrictive and movable cords through segments of fluoroplastic or polypropylene tube. That is, these tubes should slide easily over the cords. This will solve the problem of narrow roller blinds. That's how it works. Now I'm ready for a hot summer and high electricity tariffs. If all your windows are on the sunny side, then you can save up to 60% of the energy spent on air conditioning. Support the channel by subscribing if you like the video. See you on the channel.